What's up everyone? Today we're going to cover the basics of the Rally for the Y so that you have what you need to start planning for 2018. In this video we're going to cover the challenge rules, team registration, rider registration, supporting a rider, the promo kit, and ideas from some of the top Ys. So let's pop on over to the internet and see how it all works. So I'm here on my computer but this will also work great from any tablet or phone. What you're going to want to do is open up a browser and go to expresso.com slash rally for the Y. And this is the challenge page. It's going to have everything you need leading into and then once the challenge begins, including registration for riders. You can come here to support riders. You can see the team standings, how you're doing in terms of your fundraising throughout the event, as well as the rider standings. But before we get into all of that, let's quickly cover the rules. The rally for the Y runs for the entire month of February. And during that time, Expresso will sponsor your members who sign up for the challenge at 10 cents per mile. These members will also be able to gather support from friends and family, which we'll cover in a minute. Uh, on top of the 10 cents per mile, Expresso is going to donate $1,000 to the top money raising team. And riders who raise $100 or more will earn a rally badge next to their name on the leaderboards. And these riders will be entered into a lottery. At the end of the event, we will pick a name at random and donate an additional $1,000 to their YMCA's annual campaign. I do want to point out that in order for the miles to count, members will need to sign up for the rally and they will need to sign in to the Expresso bikes when they ride with their personal Expresso ID. And only miles ridden on the roads will count for this challenge. So manual mode, pedal mode rides, games, and studio classes will not. So stick to the roads. So let's bounce back over to the challenge page. And there are a few things that I want to point out here. The main challenge page is going to show the team standings and how much uh, money has been raised by each YMCA that is participating in the event. You can also bounce over to the riders tab to see the top riders who are raising money for their YMCAs. And if you want to find your specific team, you can do that using the search field here in under the options area. And the way that we name YMCAs is YMCA dash association, if it is part of an association, and then dash branch. Uh, and this is this is useful because what it allows you to do is say, for example, look up all of the uh, branches from your association. So you can look up Central Maryland, for example, and you can see all of the YMCAs from that association who are signed up for the for the rally. Or if you want to find your specific branch, say Berwick, you can just look up Berwick and you can find your team here. And once you've found your team, this is really useful. You can click on your team to see all of the members from your branch who are signed up to participate in the rally. You're gonna to wanna to check this frequently um, and use it as a resource to celebrate new members who have signed up and to celebrate, to recognize your top um, fundraisers as well. I'd highly recommend uh, checking this early and often, possibly printing it out or better yet, even uh, showing these standings on a board of your own, which we'll cover here shortly. One quick note for our Y partners with the new Expresso Go bike. Once the rally begins in February, the standings will be available directly from the bike. Just tap challenges from the home screen and then tap into the rally to see how you're doing. If you don't see your YMCA in the standings online, then you may still need to register your YMCA for the challenge. Registering a YMCA is very easy. Just click this red button right here. Tell us which YMCA you want to sign up for the rally. Give us your contact information and then tell us where you want to send your supporters to complete their donation for your, towards your annual campaign. We don't collect any money at Expresso. We're simply going to direct people to your existing system. If you don't have the link right now, that's okay. You can still register your team and you'll show up on the challenge page within about 24 hours. Once your YMCA is signed up for the rally, you can begin to register your members. When things really get going, it will be a good idea to have a computer near the bike where you can sign people up. Otherwise, you can do this from a tablet or even a phone. But go ahead and have your member go to the challenge page and then select join. Here, you'll have two options. One, if the member already has an Expresso ID, they can just sign in. Otherwise, you can register new members right now with the register button. I already have an ID, so I'll go ahead and sign in here. And now I'm registered for the challenge. Each member who signs up for the rally will get their own fundraising page and they'll have the option to personalize a note for their supporters. This is a great place to ask them to set a goal for how far they want to ride in this event. So for example, I want to ride 100 miles. I'm going to add that into my personal message and then save that. 
And now I have the option to share my rally page. This link is my personal rally page that I can share. I can also share directly from Facebook, which is a great way to get the word out. Even better than a general post is gonna to be to tag some friends and family members who you wanna ask for their support in your post. When I register, I also am gonna get a confirmation email that looks like this, that will encourage me to share my page as well and provide me with my personal rally link for reference later on. And this is what my personal rally page looks like. Uh, as you can see, my note for my supporters will be right up here. I can come back here anytime and check how much I've raised, and I'll have a timeline of all the rides that I've done on the Espresso bike during the challenge right here as well. For our white partners with the new Espresso Go bikes, you can do all of this directly from the bike. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and have the rider sign in to the bike. Uh, they can either use an existing Espresso ID or they can create an account right there from the bike. Once they're done and they're signed in, then just go ahead and go back to the home screen, select the challenges, and then select join. The riders will still get the confirmation email that encourages them to share their page and gives them their personal rally link to check later on. So once I share my page with friends and family members, in addition to the 10 cents per mile that Espresso is going to be donating, uh, this is where my friends and family can come to support me. And this is what it'll look like for them. They'll see my message that I've set up here and they'll have the option to support me right from the top. And so let's go ahead and do that as one of my friends right now. Um, the display name is what they will look like on my rally page. And then they'll have the option, supporters have the option to donate in two ways. They can choose to do a fixed donation, which is a one-time donation, or they can choose to donate based on my ride, which would be a donation per mile. Um, let's go ahead and do a fixed donation now of $50. After pledging on the Rally website, the supporter will be directed to your WISE donation link to complete their payment. Both the supporter and the riders will get a confirmation email, and if a rider chooses to donate per mile instead of on, with a fixed donation, then at the end of the rally, they'll get another summary email with how much they owe. All pledge information will be reported to your Y at the end of the event. Lastly, I want to run through the promo kit. Now, the promo kit is something that we provide to help get you started with your rally. Uh, on the challenge page, you'll see the link to the promo kit right here. Go ahead and open that up, and in here you'll find some of the resources that we can help, we've provided for you, including the rules, which we've already covered. We also have a flyer size piece that is going to call out the 10 cent espresso donation. Uh, in addition to that, we have a poster size piece that you can use to promote your event. Um, on top of that, there's a half sheet. Uh, this is designed to be printed out and then cut in half and actually put on the monitor of your Espresso bikes. There's no, this is a great piece. There's no better person to recruit for the rally than your existing team of Espresso riders, and this is going to help you do that. We also provide the rally uh, logo uh, in high resolution so that you can use that to create your own materials. And then we've got a social media graphic that you can use to share with your members or to share through your WISE page to help raise awareness for the event that way. Including here, included here is also an email header uh, that you can use to help promote the event if you have, have a newsletter or anything like that. And then we also have here a cutout that is designed to help celebrate your riders who have hit that $100 goal. In addition to that, we do provide the shirt graphic, which you can't really see here, but what I'll do here is show you what those look like. On the challenge page, there's a shop button, and this is going to open up the shop where you can purchase shirts. Uh, these shirts are printed on demand, and we're not in the business of selling t-shirts. We're in the business of uh, helping your YMCA thrive with this program. So uh, if, you don't, if you want, you can buy shirts directly from here uh, at cost. Um, the cost is generally high. If you have a local printer, then you can use that graphic here in the promo kit and get your own shirts printed up as well. So the promo kit is a great resource to get you started, but I don't want you to think that you have to stop there. I want to show you some of the amazing things that Wise did with this program last year. We saw some incredible promotional boards within the YMCAs that were participating. The Decatur County Family YMCA always has this very cool board that they put up with a mountain where all of their riders are climbing the mountain throughout the month. Uh, South Valley Y took that concept and did something similar where they posted a badge for each member that signed up for the event and then moved a rider along towards their collective goal. But on top of that, they also celebrated their top five members, both in terms of miles ridden and in terms of dollars raised. That was cool to see.
the Genesee YMCA also had a really cool promotion going on where they created a road with mile markers and each member who signed up for the rally got to put a biker on the road and then progress that biker down the road based on how far they had traveled throughout the month. This example is my personal favorite. This is the Wadsworth YMCA in Ohio and they printed out the team standings and their member standings each day and posted them on the entrance to the fitness facility. So you couldn't even get into the facility without learning about the annual campaign. Uh, they blew past their goals. They were celebrating member achievements all month long. It was very cool to see. And they printed up their own t-shirts. By now I'm sure your wheels are turning with ideas on how to get the most out of the rally at your Y. Thanks for watching today. We've got some great tips from top wise coming over the next few weeks. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon.